Hello and welcome to this quick video in the OpenTX Mixing School. Now if you have an OpenTX radio and you're interested in what OpenTX can actually do, then go and check out the Mix School. It's one of those things that every time you watch a video, hopefully you'll learn something. There's an awful lot of things that OpenTX can do. Most pilots use about 5% of the capabilities of the OpenTX system on the radios. Now I've had an interesting question. This one from a gentleman called B.W. Ustam. And what he's trying to do is make it so that when he applies some rudder, it automatically increases the throttle a little bit. And that is probably better fixed in the flight control software rather than in the radio. But as an exercise in sorting out OpenTX, let's explore this. So what we want to do is make it so that when the rudder is moved uh, from the middle center position, the throttle is increased a smidge. So let's... Uh, make a new model and let's just simulate it so here we have the radio uh, exactly as you'd expect all works in the same way as you would expect so standard for inputs standard for outputs now we're going to want to mix the rudder into the throttle so what we'll do is we will copy and paste the rudder into the throttle um, and we don't want an awful lot of throttle going across. We just want a little bit of additional thrust. Uh, if we simulate it, we can see the problem though. If I increase the throttle, let's lock that in position. So the throttle at the moment is at 9%, channel one. Then as I move the rudder from each side, and this is the problem that I think uh, this subscriber is seeing, um, the throttle's going down as well as up and just wants it to go up. The trick is what we're gonna do is we'll create a curve and we will use the first curve we'll call it something like r2t rudder to throttle and what we're going to do is we're going to increase each of these let me just see it type it in actually 50 25 25 and 50. so that is uh, a v shape so nothing goes negative ever now if we go into the mixes go into the rudder and say we want to use that curve there it is, rudder to throttle. Say, okay, watch what happens now. I increase the throttle, and we lock that. Watch what happens, we're at 6%. We put the rudder one side, it goes up to 16%, back to the middle. And rudder the other side goes up to 16% and back to the middle. And that's how I would do it. I would actually use the power of curves. Uh, this is one of those kind of cool things that is pretty, when you realize what the answer is, you kind of go, oh yeah, that came, kind of makes a lot of sense. But this is the, a great example of the kind of cool stuff that OpenTX can do. Again, personally, I would probably go and investigate in the flight control software that I'm using, whether that's Betaflight, INAV, Arducopter, whatever, on is there a setting that you can do to automatically compensate for that? Or maybe if you have a barometer or something inside the model that you can use some kind of altitude hold function. And that is probably a more elegant way to take care of this. But if you have a pretty basic uh, toy grade quadcopter, this would be a way to sort it out. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.